Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Scrapman, bringing you another episode of Trailmakers, and today we're going to attempt to build a jet ski using the brand new, where is it, uh, motorcycle seat. So in the recent update, this was one of the more significant additions, and we did uh, attempt to build a motorcycle, although its balancing wasn't that great. But one of the most common requests on that video was to try to build a jet ski, and I think that that's a fantastic idea, although I don't know how easy it's going to be. But I think it's going to look awesome if we can get it to uh, fit with the scale of this seat. The only problem I'm seeing, though, is that for a water-based vehicle, that means that we are going to have to use the propellers here and the propellers have even width whereas the seat is an odd width so if you wanted to attach propellers they're not going to be centered or we'll have to attach two of them like this which could work and the issue that i'm going to see is it's going to be hard to probably stay flat on the surface of the water but I figured we'll build, we'll tweak, we'll adjust until we get something that may not work great, but hopefully will at least work. And then I got an even better idea. Once we get a jet ski that works in some way, I want to try to see if I can build water ramps and then drive the jet ski off them, potentially just into them is what I'm envisioning happening even more so but we'll find out all right well without further ado why don't we get to building this jet ski and see what happens Okay, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to maybe somewhat of a jet ski. Now, this is about as difficult as I was expecting, actually, because 
the main issue I was seeing is having two of these uh, propellers underneath the jet ski at the back, considering how light the jet ski is gonna be to accommodate this small motorcycle seat. Those propellers are gonna be way below our center of mass and they're just gonna flip us backwards, which of course happens exactly as I thought. But what I have right now is the best version so far, as far as balance goes. If you feather the throttle at first, you can kick up some velocity and then you can start holding the throttle, but only for a little bit until you start bouncing up and down. But this is your best chance you really have at kind of getting level. I've experimented, you may have seen during the time lapse, I experimented with using wings as stabilization, like the tail fins. I even experimented with having the front tail fins angled down by 10 degrees to try to keep the nose down, but that just ended up digging us underwater as soon as it caught any water. We're also capable of turning. Uh, the turning might be a little bit extreme. We can probably lower those t the turning angle a little bit. So right now, I think this is the best I'm gonna get. So let's move on to creating some underwater, or not underwater, but uh, floating ramps and see what happens if we take this thing off of ramps. Now I can see one of two things happening when it comes to approaching the ramp. Either we're actually gonna be able to take off the ramp or this thing is just gonna grind to a halt or crash and explode on the ramp. But if we do make it off the ramp, I'm pretty sure we're just gonna dive underwater because this thing's pretty heavy. I even have a 30 uh, kilogram of weight. You can kind of see it in here, this round object in, in there through the uh, transparency. It's a 30 kilogram weight that I was trying to use to offset the force that these uh, propellers have, but I just can't keep the nose down that much. So now that that thing's saved, let's go ahead and build some ramps. Okay, so here is my strategy with the ramp. I'm hoping that these are going to be free floating here. And when this uh, goes into the water, this base is going to float. And then this is just going to kind of angle down naturally. So let's see. Hey, that seems to actually be working pretty good. That's a lot longer than I was expecting it to. But the cool thing is we can actually adjust the... Um, steepness of the ramp and the length of the ramp in relation to that just by moving this in this will make it steeper and therefore even a little bit shorter yeah look at that all right so now let's spawn in our jet ski and see if we can take our jet ski off of that i think that'll actually be pretty cool all right well here goes nothing come on get the rip oh <laughs> we lost the whole front of our vehicle well, the ramp at least still seems to be floating. Oh, here we go. Nope, nope. We're right off to the side again. <laughs> I should have made it wider. You know what? I'm going to make this jump a lot wider because I... Oh, can I not build it? Oh, yeah, I can. Here we go. Because uh, I'm having a lot of trouble with this. All right, jump is a lot wider. Let's hope it still floats. All right, looks good. You know what? I'm right next to it. Let's just, uh, let's just go for it. Go! <laughs> we beached ourselves. We might need to get a little bit more of a run-up on that. <laughs> All right, this is looking good. This is looking good. This is looking good. <laughs> it's so, like, it. it's just full of, tr like, treads. How are you going to expect to slide across that thing with, like, treads against treads? It's like lining the bottom of your jet ski with cleats. All right. All right. Here we go. Yeah, this thing. <laughs> <laughs> this is not how you do jet ski jumps. Okay, I think if we make the jump itself just slightly uh, shallower or steeper rather, like a steeper angle, I think that's going to be our best bet if we're going to have any hope of getting off this thing. We need like very, very little amount. There we go. Just a very little amount sticking out of the water so we don't have to drag across that much. So let's see if we can do this. All right, go, 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 go. <laughs> This is so pathetic. I mean, I knew the jumps weren't going to be very frictionless, but I was at least hoping that we'd be able to get some speed to go off of these things. But the jet ski itself is just so bad. Oh, look at that. All right. We kind of did a jump there. I feel like we. I feel like if we can get the perfect lineup where we can actually pick up some speed, I feel like this, we can get some air. Just a little bit. I know it's not going to be a great jump no matter what, but I just... I, I put all the time into building this jump and coming up with the idea in the first place. I just really want it to work. Here we go. Here we go. This is such a failure. Okay, we're lined up pretty straight. If I just go here, this should work. 
Look at this. Look at this. Our best trajectory yet. <laughs> you know, contrary to popular belief, not all experiments on the Scrapman channel are wild successes like they always seem to be. <laughs> Sometimes you have immense failures like this, and the dream that you had in your head is just... It's just not the reality that you expect it to be. All right, come on, Jeski, just get some air. Just go, just get. One final, one final idea. You ready? I don't think you're even ready for this. Oh, you know what? This isn't even gonna work. This is just gonna make us sink. I was gonna add some jet. You know what? Maybe some, maybe some of these might, might do it. I was gonna add a big jet engine to the back of this thing, but I'm gonna add two of these instead and hope it doesn't sink me. Another 10 kilograms right onto the back here. Let's see how that feels. Oh, no. Oh, that doesn't feel good, does it? Maybe those those should go on the front. Whoa! Whoa! So I, I removed the 30 kilogram weight in the front and put these thrusters there, and this is not half bad. Whoa! Very unexpected result. Oh, we may have saved this. We may have actually saved this video. All right, I've made some modifications to this thing. The nose had to get a little bit longer to accommodate these jets, but I think I made them fit a little bit more aesthetically. And this thing is so much better. So much better. Look at it. It stays on the surface. Holy cow. Are we going to be able to do a jump though? That's the next question. I mean, we still have all that friction to overcome, but we have a little bit more power now and a little bit more stability. So let's find out. All right, here it goes. Our whole bottom of the vehicle disappeared. That was interesting. All right, I think we got unlucky there. We like, we kind of wave up and down and we caught the ramp on the down part of the wave. So let's try it again, see if we can catch it on a better trajectory. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. <laughs> it's better than anything we've done so far. We need at least a few more tries just to confirm how bad this jump idea was. Go, go, go. Yep, yeah, bad idea. It's just, there's, there's no way to overcome that friction. But at least I'm really happy with the improvement we've made to the actual jet ski itself by adding the mini thrusters. Those things are a great addition. Man, rough seas apparently. But yeah, this was an extremely challenging build dealing with a seat that has to rest so close to the surface of the water and it kicks you out as soon as you go underneath it. A lot of really difficult decisions had to be made to try to fine tune the buoyancy versus the weight and the, the thrust and all that stuff. But I think we made something that is, um, it's okay looking. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, is there anything that you would have done differently? Maybe once the game's been out for a little while longer, I might look in the workshop for some jet skis to see what uh, you guys have come up with in the Trail Makers community. So if you're a fan of Trail Makers on the channel, definitely go ahead and check out this playlist right here. There's tons and tons of Trail Makers content for you to scroll through. I hope I've earned your subscription with this video. Anyway, this is Scrapman, and I'll see you next time. Bye.